Hey, what's up, tubers? This is Super Dale, and today I got a video for you. For anyone who are, who's getting a brand new television, or you may be receiving a Fire TV stick or the Cube, and you want to be able to control the television, all you have to do is follow these steps. I did receive an email on this. She said, Dale, I just bought a television. And when I plug my, my old stick into it, it will not control the new television or it will not power it down. So in this video, I'm going to show you for anyone that bought another television and you hooking up the Fire TV to your, um, your new television or if you received this as a gift. Maybe somebody added some applications and they gave it to you and you want to be able to control your your volume and power down your television using the, the Fire TV remote, follow these steps. Now, the first thing we have to do is go into settings. So I'm gonna go over here, go over to the right and you see this little gear right here, you will get this menu. Or let me give you a tip, guys. Let me give you a tip, all right? Let me give you a tip. If you hold down the home button, on your remote control. So hold down the whole button on the remote. If you hold it for about three to four seconds, you will get this and all you have to do is go into settings, all right? Whatever one, it's just, it's whatever. Um, from here, we have to go to equipment control. So that's where we're gonna go, this right here. Select that. Then we want to go to manage equipment, guys. So go down there and highlight manage equipment, select it. Then you want to go to TV, all right? Go to TV option right here. So I'm going to go down one and select TV. From here, guys, I'm going to go down here to where it says change TV, all right? So I'm going to go down one, two, three, four. Go down to four steps and select change TV. From here, guys, it says guide setup will take five to 10 minutes. All right, and so your options are change TV and cancel. What we wanna do is highlight change TV. So I'm gonna go up one, highlight it, and select change TV. We should get something that come across the screen shortly. Just be patient. It said, we detected your Hisense television. Is this correct? Now, if it detect your television, you should be good to go. If it, Right now, I am on a Hisense Android TV um, television, but if I wanted to proceed and just say yes, I can go ahead and just select yes. So right now, I'm gonna just select yes because it detected. And so right here it says, press the power on your Fire TV remote to turn off your television. Wait 10 seconds, then press power again to turn back on. So let's do that, power. The television went off, let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now let's hit the power button. You might have to be a little patient, all right? It's a new television, and see if it power on. As you see, it said digital TV turn off and then back on when you press the power. Now, if it didn't, you could say no, but in this case, I'm gonna just say yes, all right? It says we're playing music during this next step. Please make sure the volume is turned up, then continue, all right? So we gonna highlight next. And it says, with the Fire TV remote pointed at your television or your TV, toggle the volume up and the volume down button. Did the music volume change and come out um, of the expected audio device, which is your TV speakers? Let's see. I hear a little bit of music, but I'm gonna turn it all the way up. And hopefully you hear that as well. And so I'm just holding the remote. And so right here, I'm gonna turn it back down because I do hear the volume. So I'm good on that. All 
All right. And so it says, did you, did you, did it come out of the expected audio device? I'm going to say yes. So I'm going to select yes. All right. It said, which input of your TV currently set to? Mine is set to HDMI 4. All right. Which is right here. It's set. I, that's what is on. If you don't know where yours is at, get a flashlight. Get behind your TV if you can. Point that light up there, flashlight, and see which HDMI input it in. It could be HDMI 1, 2, 3. In my case, I have four inputs, and mine is at 4. All right. Also, you can see some more component, antenna, input, not listed, stuff like that. That's very rare, but I'm going to select HDMI 4. It says, using the TV remote, please change to a different input. So it's telling me to get my Hisense remote, which I have right here. Once you are there, press the the, forward, the fast forward button on the Fire TV remote and keep it pointed at your television. If you have any trouble, use the TV remote to switch back. So it's telling me, all right, it's telling me, use, the, use your TV remote. Uh, please change to a different input. So let me see. Let's do this. As you see right there, I'm going to just change it to HDMI 1. Now, remember, it says using the remote control, all right? Using the remote control, press the fast forward button. So that's that fast forward that's that sits right up under the menu, and it, it steers right. So let's see. HDMI 4, there it is. Did your TV, did the fast forward return to your Fire TV? Yes, it did. So right here, I'm going to select yes, because it went right there. That's all I did was just press on it, and it went through HDMI 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I'm going to say yes. I'm going to select yes. It says your Fire TV remote has been updated. Okay. All right. So we got it right there, but let's do this. What if your TV, what if the Fire TV device did not uh, recognize the brand of your TV? So I'm going to go into TV again, all right? I'm going to go into TV again. I'm going to go to change television or change TV, which is right here, highlight it. And then, it's, of course, you remember this. It says guide setup will take five to ten minutes. As you see, it don't take that long. I'm going to highlight change TV. All right. It says we detected your high sense television. Is this correct? Let's just say if it did not detect a television. All right. It, or it, it got a different brand than what you have. You know, if it didn't, if it's incorrect or it's not detecting it, that's all you have to do is say highlight no and press it. And here it gives you the, it highlights a few brand televisions, right? Amazon Basics, Amazon Fire TV, LG, Samsung, Sony, Vizio. But it is a lot of TV. It got to be about two to 300 different brand televisions, all right? But look at all of this. If you go all the A's, all the B's, all the C's, D's, E, F, all the way, guys. I mean, it's so many different brand televisions, all right? And some of this stuff I never heard, like Maggie Net, uh, Manta, Mark Q, uh, Master, uh, you know, all of this stuff. Memorex, I ain't, uh, yes, I have heard of Memorex. Well, Micromax, I never heard of this television right here, Micromax, all right? And it's a host of them, guys. You just have to go, whatever your brand is, hopefully it's in here. Now, let me let you know, if it's not in here, I don't know what to do for you. You're just going to have to use the your television remote, all right? I don't know what to do if your television is not on a part of this list but as you see it goes all the way from a to z all right and it says brand not listed at the very bottom there you see it right there it says my brand is not listed so you will have to select that to figure out what is going on all right but i'm gonna go up here and i'm gonna select my high sense 
there's a good chance your television may be on here. If it's not, then uh, you got to select brand not listed. Maybe I'll do another video on that. I don't know. All right. So I'm going to go down here, and there is my television right here. You see High, high Sense? I'm going to select that. And I'm going to do the same thing I did earlier. All right. It says press the power button on the remote to cut it off and then count to 10 and cut it back on. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Boom. Hit the power button. Be patient. Every brand of television is different. And here it is. It came back on. It says, did your television, did your TV turn off and then back on? When you press select, yes, as you see right there, it's already selected for me. And it says, we'll be playing music. Next step, please make sure the volume is turned up and then continue. As you already heard earlier, but here it is. So you see it again. So you should be hearing my audio, and then I'm going to take it down just a little bit, right? Take it down. And so everything is working. I'm going to select yes, which is already highlighted for me. And then it's going to do the HDMI. So I'm going to use this one right here, previous use, all right? So it's going to tell me, hey, using your TV remote, please change to a different input. So I'm going to do that again. And then use the Fire TV remote, the fast forward, all right? The one that got the two arrows pointed to the right, all right? So I'm going to hit a different one. I'm going to go down here to HDMI 1. Using the, the Fire TV remote, all right? I'm going to go to HDMI and see it found it right away. All right, went right to it. It says, did the fast forward, um, that icon that you see right there, uh, return to the Fire TV, I'm going to say yes, and it's already highlighted. Your Fire TV remote has been updated, so everything is good, and I am good, guys. So, And there you have it. Now I can power off, right? I can power back on, give it about three, four seconds, and you should see it pop on in just a second if I hit the right button. Maybe I didn't. All right, let's see. <laughs> Dang, you just got to be patient. That's what it is, all right? And so I can hit the home button. I can control the volume. As you see right here, I can take it up. I can take it down. And there you have it right there. I can mute it. Just take it all the way down. You can mute it and go from there. So it's pretty good. Or if you are if you had the volume up, right here at the bottom, it has a dedicated mute button. All right. And so I can mute it, and then I can take it right back to where it's at. So that's how you set up this device, guys. It's pretty, 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 pretty easy. I'm going to do more videos about this. Salute to all my subscribers who be asking me to do dedicated videos for them. This is what I used to do back in the day, and um, I started doing a bunch of lives and got away from this. So this is this is good. I have some more videos for you. This is more of a up to date since the user interface has um, changed, and um, yeah, this is it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in uh, the in the comment area of this video. Also, guys, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, hit that bell icon and select all i look forward to hearing your comments and going from there guys this is super dale salute be safe out there and i will talk to you later peace